Hello. Um, right now I am going to be making a, uh, a nice oil so that uh, it's actually got a lot of uses, but what I'm going to be using it for today is a scalp massage. Uh, I'm going to be including rosemary and spearmint essential oils, and they are both excellent for uh, increasing circulation, stimulating hair growth, um, getting rid of any type of like funguses or anything that might be in there, preventing hair growth. Um, they're good for dandruff. Uh, they are, um, well, and they just smell fantastic together. So um, first thing I'm going to add is um, a little bit of glycerin. Now I don't want to use more than about 10% of my total mixture for glycerin. I want to actually keep it more around about 5%. Uh, this will probably drive everybody nuts, but I, uh, I am my great grandmother's great granddaughter and I don't really measure things. So um, I will probably be using terms like a little bit and till it looks right. Um, hopefully this won't be too aggravating. Uh, but so I'm just going to put a little bit, I'm going to say probably like five to 10% of the bottle or, you know, just like, like that. Um, and this is a half ounce bottle if anybody's curious. Um, and this is actually castor oil. Um, so I'm going to be using about that much castor oil and about the same amount of glycerin because the glycerin can be actually like very kind of sticky um, and uh, if it's by itself but when you dilute it with an oil it is it's not like that it's it helps to add moisture and lock in moisture um, and then I have in here a mixture of liquid coconut oil, uh, almond oil, grapeseed oil, cat, uh, and I think sunflower oil. So we are going to add up to right about where the top of the label is so that we leave room for the essential oils. So we have about a half an ounce of oil and castor oil and glycerin. Um, the glycerin is actually going to help the essential oils mix faster and better with the other oils. The castor oil will actually, once it's on your skin, help the oils to penetrate even deeper um, faster. So since essential oils are mega, mega powerful, you only need a few drops. We've got a half an ounce here, so I really don't wanna go more than about six drops in this mixture. So I am going to do one, two, three drops of spearmint, and then we're going to add one, two, three drops of rosemary. Uh, and I can definitely smell it. So if you're using like cheap essential oils, you may have to like double or triple the amount of essential oil that you are putting in there to get the same fragrance effect. And if you're not using thera therapeutic grade essential oils, you will not really get the therapeutic benefit, but there is still the aromatherapy benefit where, you know, like a smell triggers an emotion or um, a feeling and or a memory. So you still have that. So it is still valuable. But um, I try to always make sure that I use high quality therapeutic grade essential oils so that I get the, the most benefit. and. It actually saves you money in the long run because you don't have to use like half a bottle to fragrance your stuff. So um, I've got this little dropper bottle that I put it in. We're going to give it a nice shake. Um, oh, and you may notice that there are words written on this little uh, 
label that I have placed on here. And it's very important to always label and date all of your stuff, especially like if you start making a lot of things, you'll be like, oh crud, I forgot what I put in this. And you know, you'll stumble upon some just magnificently amazing blend that you happened to make three weeks ago and you cannot for the life of you remember what was in it. And that really is, it, it's harsh. So um, we, I'm gonna try this out a little bit. Now, even with just six drops of essential oil in there, I am, oh my goodness, that is just absolutely divine. So, um, I am going to go ahead and prep and go ahead and give uh, myself a scalp massage. Maybe I'll let you join me if you want. Stop by. Uh, until then, I hope your day is absolutely filled with peace, love, and unicorns, and uh, see ya.